Well, I'm here this morning with a quick update. Uh, apparently, uh, someone has set up a fake social media, one or more fake social media accounts pretending to be me. Uh, so I won't give you the details about that so that you're not caught up in anything, uh, any kind of foolishness surrounding this. I am at City of Rock State Park right now waiting for Coco Fest 2021. Ooh, a couple of ravens just flew over. <laughs> uh, anyways, I'm at City of Rock State Park. Uh, waiting for Coco Fest 2021 to start. It actually officially starts this afternoon. I was out this morning for a uh, sunrise hike. Lovely hike through the rocks behind me here. And it's all volcanic rock formations. Really cool. So I was uh, hiking around. And I was uh, standing there looking at some ancient grinding holes. Well, I started getting messages on my phone telling me that uh, from family members telling me that someone appeared to be impersonating me. And they were getting bogus scam messages. Uh, so it's at least one of them asked someone to click through to Instagram. Uh, so I immediately changed my password. I thought it was weird because I already use unique passwords on every site on the internet. And I also have two-factor authentication enabled on Facebook and anywhere else where I can do so. Uh, apparently, so far at least, it seems like all the messages are coming through Facebook Messenger. When we get back to camp, I got digging into it a little bit and learned that Facebook has once again changed my privacy settings. I had things all cracked down in the past. They've changed them again. Um, I have a personal Facebook page that I almost never use except to keep up with the grandkids. Um, most of what I do is on my public page, which is at Daily Travel News. If you do want to check that out, um, links are always in the description. So I hardly ever use it, and I never use Facebook Messenger. I just don't find any value in it. Anybody that I want to talk to, I usually have their phone number anyway, so I just text them directly. And uh, the handful of people I need to talk to, I don't have their phone number, I email them. So um, I don't use Facebook Messenger. I don't really use Instagram direct messages. So if you get something that looks suspicious, it probably is. Um, I did have another email then from a friend a little bit ago who had received a similar message and I asked him to check out an Instagram account or page or something. So I have a screenshot of that, fortunately, and I have reported that account as being uh, spam and impersonating me because it clearly is. Uh, I don't know. So if you see something weird in social media or, or in the, the same rules apply, I guess, as to anybody. But if you're this is happening to me now. So if you do get weird messages from me on Facebook Messenger or on Instagram or whatever, uh, it's probably not me. Even if they've stolen my picture and my cover art and made it try and make it look like me, it's not me. Uh, so just be aware of that, please. And go ahead and report those accounts if you don't mind as being fake. Um, my legitimate Instagram account is at Robert Witham. Uh, this other one is impersonating me. Impersonate, this other one is impersonating me. Has a, a twist on that, um, but it's not me. So um, I, I'll tell you at this point, I'm actually seriously thinking about shutting down Facebook and Instagram both. Um, we'll see. I'll think about it a little bit. But this is it, 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 ridiculous. They keep changing their privacy settings, and Facebook is far more interested in their own games than they are in uh, in building the metaverse or something, whatever exactly that all amounts to, rather than uh, maintaining as a secure, allowing you, their users to maintain good security practices. So maybe shutting those down that won't stop people from creating false fake accounts but it will at least allow me to say uh you know if it's not on youtube it's definitely not me so don't pay any attention to anything on facebook or fa uh, instagram or whatever else so uh what happened anyways is the facebook i believe happened is someone had set up a, a scam account and facebook had changed my privacy settings and made my friends list public and also made all of my posts public even though i've repeatedly changed those back to all being private um, but because Facebook made them public again, the scammer was able to just go through and pick off probably a bot using all of my publicly available information and for, like the friends list, and they were able to contact people pretending to be me. So I'm not real happy with Facebook and Instagram right now uh, because they just don't seem to take security seriously. They're, they're more worried about making the dollars on their advertising and collecting whatever data they can than they are in, in keeping things secure. So we'll see what happens with that, but that's that update. I don't know how many news videos I want to get up this week. I have some freelance work. I've, I have some freelance work I've got to get done, and we have a lot going on at uh, with with the uh, meetup that starts this afternoon and runs through I think Friday morning. So I don't know how much 
how many news videos will get up. I do have a couple of videos I shot this morning. One's going to be a short, just showing you some of the walks through the, the rocks. I have another one, a full video that shows up there. So again, some of the walks through there. So um, they'll be they'll be coming up soon. Um, and of course, I'm sure I'll be shooting some stuff during the meetup. So there, you'll, you'll probably see some of that, but there may not be many, if, if any, uh, news videos this week. So thanks for joining me for this episode uh, i appreciate you taking the time to hear what's going on and uh again if you if you get a weird message from me it's probably not from me uh so if it's and, and again on, on facebook my public page is at daily travel news and on instagram it's at robert with um the only reason it's different on facebook is because my personal account is at robert with but i don't really use that and i i do sometimes get friend requests on there uh from viewers and things but i don't really use facebook so that's um if you want to follow on daily travel news, you can for as long, at least at least for as long as I keep that open. I, like I said, I may, I'm considering shutting it down just because it, it's an incredible hassle and an incredible amount of time trying to track down these scammers. And it would be easier for me to just say, nope, it's not me. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but thank, again, thanks for joining me for this quick update. And there will be more coming from City of Rocks for sure this week. Thanks, everybody. We'll catch you in the next one.